Okay, so for Halloween, I decided to treat myself with candy and subscription boxes. Um, this is my kind of thrown together at the last minute leather face costume, eyes, mouth, stuff like that on the apron. Really cheap chainsaw, and I have a real leather face mask, but it's packed away somewhere, so I just went with this. And now it looks, this kind of looks like a cross between the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 mask and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre the beginning mask. So, it, it still works. And I, I was trying to find a shirt, but I couldn't find anything, and I did not want to get one of my good t-shirts bloody. Um, alright, so, here we go. All sorts. More all sorts. I think they all came in, like, little packets. The, uh, Tootsie Fruities Watermelon. What's wrong? <laughs> Tootsie Fruity Cherry Limeade. I think this flavor is new. Um, Tootsie Fruity's Fruit Punch. Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> Sour Balls. How appropriate. I just watched Night of the Demons the other day. And finally, Chili Mango Saltwater Taffy. And I think seven things. Thank you for your order. Yay. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. Okay. I don't know if I should open the box of dread first or the Z chest first. I've never gotten Z chest before. But yeah. And since you, you get the idea, I'm going to just take that off. Now I look like a caveman or something without the mask on. Oh, my nose is wet. Okay, there's nothing hiding in there. Just Desserts, The Making of Creep Show. Oh, shit. And it's an hour and a half, has two commentaries, extended interviews, another interview with the director of photography, Michael Gornick, called Creep Show Days. This is really awesome. Like, I was not expecting something like this. Like, I think I knew that Creep Show was going to be featured in this month's Box of Dread, but I did not, you know, expect a DVD with, like, five hours of stuff on it. Okay. Deathgasm. Oh. It's a book. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to... I'm not going to read this until I watch the movie, which I'm probably going to watch it in the next few days or so, because I've been excited for it for a little while. But yeah, this is pretty neat, and... It's just, I, I don't know if it's a book about the making of the movie or what, but there's tons of pictures and stuff, and I really like how they did the text. It almost has like a Evil Dead thing going on, and it's a Box of Dread exclusive, I'm pretty sure. So that is two things. Um, it's a card to, with a code or a link to download one of the songs in Deathgasm. A Deathgasm sticker. Autograph. Huh, awesome. Christina Kleb, Kleb, I, I suck at pronouncing names, but it's an autograph picture. It's not a picture of her. Her, but it's an autograph picture, um, which is pretty cool. I just watched um, 
you know, I had a double feature, triple feature actually, of All Hallows Eve, All Hallows Eve 2, and Tales of Halloween the other day. So this is, this is kind of appropriate that I got, you know, autograph of her. Her segment was really odd, with the killer pumpkin and everything. Uh, oh yay, they, they actually put a poster in a plastic thing. Usually subscription boxes and a lot of other places that sell posters for that matter don't you know put them in plastic but they did and now I see why there are two posters of course one of them is a deathgasm poster and ooh, my voice just cracked <laughs> and the other is a paranormal activity the ghost dimension poster I shall hang those up and speaking of Paranormal Activity The Ghost Dimension, I am very confused by the release. It has been released in 1600 theaters, but for some odd reason it is not playing anywhere near me. Within like two hours of me. I don't get it. I hate when that happens. And now... Oh, well, first, I got... I also got... What? Oh. I also got, um... This month's Horror Block, which has Child's Play on Friday the 13th stuff, apparently, but it hasn't arrived yet. And I also got um, a Horror D'Oeuvres box, which also hasn't arrived yet. I was hoping that all of them would get here by Halloween, but three out of five is still pretty good. I have no idea what to expect from this, the Z-Chest. I'm assuming this is a Halloween card. Thank you so much for being among the first to order Z-Chest. We hope that you will enjoy these hand-picked items for this special Halloween bag of bones. We appreciate your patronage and please join us as we continue to grow. Post your pictures or unboxing videos to our Facebook or Twitter. Let us know what you liked, what you would like to see, or how we can improve. Happy Halloween from all of us at Z Chest. That's pretty cool. Okay. The Walking Dead. Two figures. This is Dexter and Dreadlock Zombie. Hmm. Oh. So, multiple Walking Dead figures. Maggie, Funko. So now I have like 15 of those. Not of Maggie, but Funkos in general. That's like a poster palooza this month. Oh, but this one has tape on it. Okay. I wish I had better finger nails. Dark Hotics, Elder Target, Shepard Street. Okay, on to the next thing. Box of boogers, tangy gummy boogers that look and feel real. This is one of those things I'm not sure if I should open it and eat it, or if I should just put it up somewhere, or what. I'm gonna keep the box, even if I eat it. So I'm not so sure about, you know, how I'll feel eating boogers. Plants vs. Zombies, a little bag, if there's anything in there. Okay. Wow, there's so much stuff in here. Caw. I actually just bought this movie a few months ago, but this is still really neat because I was not, once again, I wasn't expecting a DVD. I was not expecting this to have like a dozen items in it. Pack of zombie playing cards, so these can 
go on my shelf with my Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre cards. Um, and a set of two Walking Dead pens. And finally... Let's see. Good, they got my size right. A zombie shirt. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, and there are still... There's still more stuff in here. This is... A little voodoo friend zombie. Hold it up so you can... And... Now, finally, a little Z chest button. So yeah, this had a lot more stuff in it than I thought it would, so I'm definitely going to be subscribing to this. It's only about $20 a month. But, um, yeah, I'll probably upload, you know, my horror block and, um, horror d'oeuvres unboxing video once those come in. Thanks for watching, and happy Halloween.